everybody i just wanted to make a quick video touching bases on our wedding i've gotten multiple multiple dms saying i know you guys are getting married soon is this still happening with all the closures and everything going on so i decided to make a video about it yes we are still getting married um honestly as you can imagine weddings are already so stressful it's been chaotic just like with having everything up in the air our venue is outside so i think that's what's definitely has been like saving us <sighs> it's just so stressful there is um some of our family members that can't make it which is unfortunate you know obviously we want all of our family and friends there but we do understand and respect people's decisions when they say they just aren't comfortable coming or flying of course not you know we're in the middle of this COVID-19 stuff and things are scary people are dying and we do have a lot of our grandparents missing out um JD's grandma and grandpa both won't be there my one of my grandmas won't be there um so that is tough it is sad but we are still getting married um we'll have plenty of videos and pictures for them to like look back on too so we're trying to stay positive but it is stressful we're in our final two weeks like i'm so it's crazy because i'm like so excited like every day i'm like oh my god there's this many days today's nine days and i'm like yay i'm so excited but then it's like i'm also bummed out but as you guys know if you've been following me like my dad has cancer and stuff and he's really sick so i feel like for me personally with how much my dad means to me like me postponing and scheduling my wedding for next year a lot of people are like well, why don't you just schedule it to next year it's like well this COVID-19 stuff's not just magically gonna go away there's no vaccine yet there's nothing I don't want to schedule it to next year and this same stuff still going on you know and we were already supposed to get married inside May so we already postponed our wedding so for me like scheduling it for next year just isn't a good idea in our head we want to be married we want to be planning to have a baby by next year we don't want to be worrying about a wedding next year you put so much time so much effort so much thought so much money not to mention into weddings like rescheduling it is just isn't really an option for us again so my dad has cancer and stuff and like it means everything for me to have him at my wedding to dance with me to walk me down the aisle you know ah. so i don't want to fear scheduling it till next year and then him not going to be here with me so that's one of the main reasons why I'm sticking to August. I'm sticking to our second scheduled date and I'm not gonna postpone it until next year. Unfortunately, if our venue last minute shuts down, it's out of my control. Our videographer is actually flying in here. For some reason, I didn't know he, was, he wasn't local. I ended up finding him on Instagram from a bunch of suggestions from you guys actually, but it makes sense. I have followers on Instagram from everywhere. I love his work. I love. I'm so glad we have him. He said he'll be there. He already booked his plane ticket, so I'm excited about that. But I'm also nervous with the fact that he's flying. Like, what happens if something happens? But then I, like, I'm like, okay, Natalie and JD always says, like, just don't stress. Just let it be. Let it happen. Like, we can't control things that are out of our control, you know? So, staying positive. We're in our final days. As of right now, without a doubt, it's happening. I can't wait. I'm excited to marry the man of my dreams. He's excited and our kids are excited. Bella wants a baby so bad. So I told her after the wedding, sometime after the wedding, we'll try to start having a baby. Um, I'm thinking probably like six to eight months after the wedding, but who knows. But yeah, our wedding's still happening. Um, it is an outside venue. They said that all their staff will be wearing masks. They legally have to post um, no masks, I mean masks are required. So I, um, I personally am not wearing a mask. I let the lady know that it's my wedding day. I'm going to have my hair and makeup done. I, I'm personally not wearing a mask. If anyone that is going to my wedding, if they do not feel comfortable and they want to wear a mask, then that's on them. I'm hoping they like at least pull it down for pictures, but what can you do? We're getting married in the mix of this chaos. So it's definitely scary for people that do have underlying health conditions, older people. So I'm not going to sit there and tell my guests, no, you can't wear a mask to my wedding, even if it messes up some photos. If that's people's personal decisions, what people want to do, if that makes them feel safer. That is what it is. I'm just, I'm just happy people are going to be coming still. We still have our 75 people that RSVP'd. 
So it's a decent amount of people. It's not a ton of people, but it's also not very small either. So I can't wait to share the videos with you guys and all the pictures and be married and be Mrs. Sanders. Um, it also was a lot of stress trying to find like childcare for just to find someone, one of our family members to watch Bella and Aubrey the night of our wedding. Obviously the night of our wedding, we do not plan on going on honeymoon because of everything going on. We plan on like celebrating later the honeymoon once everything calms down, it just makes more sense with everything. We don't want to travel somewhere and then not be able to even go out to eat or enjoy things because of everything going on. So we do plan on having our honeymoon later, which is fine with us. And then um, it was hard finding like a, someone to watch our two nighters for us for our wedding night just because of everything going on. We could at least have like a night together. We didn't get a hotel or anything. We're just going to be at our house, but at least we'll be kid free. I'm excited. Um, I did want to make a video touching bases with that. A lot of people are asking me. So as of right now, yes, without a doubt, we are getting married. We've already paid for our venue, planned these dates, got a videographer, got a photographer, got all of our self scheduled, planned, colors picked out. We're excited for our wedding. Like we don't want to move it to next year. We cannot wait to marry each other. And this is like our decision. Um, even if some of our family members or friends that we love and care about with all our hearts, if you know, even if they cannot make it, it's still going to be the best day of our lives. And we're still going to have a great wedding day, regardless if some people can't make it just because they can't make it doesn't mean it's going to make our wedding any less special. So that is our decision and with our venue still allowing us to have it, that's what we're doing. So that's the update with our wedding. I can't wait to get married and I'll keep you guys updated with if anything else changes. Bye guys.